my friends, and welcome to another episode of MTD CNC. Today, I am with my friend Wayne, craftsman, tool, and mold here just outside of Chicago in Illinois. And Wayne does some really neat stuff here. Obviously, in the name, tool and mold, we're working on some molds, and there are some incredible tools. One of his main go-tos for this fine finishing and hard type of material of steels is the Kitamura machine. Wayne started working with Kitamura over 25 years ago, I believe. That's right. And this we are standing in front of right now is the first one that he purchased that long ago. So Wayne, share your story and your journey about this first machine before we move into what the newest ones that you purchased. Yeah, I love it, Tony. And thank you for coming out today. I really appreciate your time. Absolutely. So we make mold bases and we found that Mitsubishi and Kitamura were making quality, quality machines. Now Kitamura, this particular machine you see right here, is a 1998. My father bought that because we love the bridge styles, the Bridge Center 8, which is like 42 by 80 inches in travel and X. It holds two to three tenths tolerances from a 98 machine. Wow. Tony, very impressive because most machines, even the, the, the uh, material gets green, they, they float, they crack the foundations. All our machines go on solid four feet foundations and this machine is still holding the tolerance today. That's amazing. It, it blew my mind. So when it came time to buy more machines, there really was a no brainer. This machine is perfect for what we do. We do large plates, 420 stainless steel, medical and packaging, and we're holding two tenths tolerances. Now the big box waves on the machine make it rigid, right? That's what's more important to us because the newer machines are all linear waves, which it can travel faster, but we like the rigidity of these machines. We're pouring out three, four, five inch holes. We need a solid machine on a solid foundation with solid waste surfaces and we found it with the Kitamura machine. Yeah, it sounds like you really were fortunate in 98, 97, right around that time with this first machine to really find something that you knew was gonna benefit you for a long time in the future, the investment, and you nailed it in a couple of spots where you mentioned, I need the rigidity, but I need the accuracy as well for what you do, and it's holding up after over two decades. But something I wanna also focus on, which is somewhat unique to people is that Kitamura is often known for their horizontal machining, but that's not what you need here. No. This is what you need, and you guys have developed a process that works specifically for you, and you're doing it really well. Thank you for that. Yeah, we found that finishing in the bridge type machines over the C-type machines with the larger material, uh, size plates is key, because the C-type machines always will drop off. With a bridge center, you're always accurate through the whole range of travel. So, yeah, we found a gem. We found it, I'm sure it was because it was Jap Japanese made. We went to Japanese made over the other countries. Germany's great too. But um, how do you argue with the results? You can't. You can't. So yeah, this is probably our six uh, Kitamar machine today. Wayne, so here we are looking at the 12 and what a beast of a machine wow. this is. Wow. Absolutely. Let's talk a little bit about where your decision making was in the purchase of this beast of a machine. Well, we have a lot of Kitamoras, like you saw the first one. We have two other eights, a six, and as we move on to purchase, we don't want to always go parallel. We like to go up. So they make a 10 and they make a 12. Why settle for the 10 when you can get the 12? For this machine, when we bought it, we held Kitamora to the wall with tolerances, right? We put the foundation in. It's like four feet of concrete, crushed gravel, rebar, four foot of concrete. We start with a solid foundation, right? Because that's what everything with the basis of a good machine. From there, we tweak it. We level it, scrape the waves, whatever we have to do. So this machine is square with intents over the 60 by 100 travel. And right now, what we're making right now is a, a standard gauge it's called like a Cadillac gauge. Those are one inch increments, 25.4 millimeters. And we're gonna use this standard on all our larger bridges. That we do have a laser too. So we laser calibrate it, and then we mechanically check it with a tenth indicator. To me, that's an incredible testimonial on the precision of the Kitamura machine. And although we've said it, it kind of also goes without saying how rigid this machine must be with all the concrete it's sitting on. And you only maybe 99 plus percent work in hard steel, right? Well, it's all 420 stainless, mostly for medical and packaging. Yeah, and you've had some real growth 
bringing in two new Kitamuras over the last year. What have you been working on? As I told you, Tony, we, we put a million dollars worth of new machines in here in like, since COVID hit. And the reason was POs were coming and every bottom of the PO, COVID related, COVID related, right? Emergency, COVID related. Trays, testing trays, um, respirator parts, uh, needles. You, you mentioned it, anything that was needed for COVID, Craftsman was on the front line making those molds. Most ERP systems are very complicated, very in depth, what you put in and what you get out, but they're not always that simple, right? So not user friendly. So we wrote our own software to sit on the top end. We use all the tables from our ERP system, Job Boss, and we make everything user friendly, communicate through the shop, everything's being processed, right? Countability, trackability. It's amazing software. Well, I really congratulate you on all the hard work you put in. Good people deserve good things. I love seeing the Kitamura machines here. Guys, we're talking 20 plus years as a customer of Kitamura. How has the service been over these years? Oh, they're solid. They come right out. Any kind of issues, they're here helping us. No problem. That's one of the most important things in our industry. It really because is. How expensive is a machine when it's down? Oh, I'd hate to gather a thought on that. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So, 20 plus years, guys. Give me your customer. Great testimonial, Wayne, and showcasing craftsmen and all the amazing work you guys do. Yeah, thank you for marketing and getting the industry like the good name out.